The state fire marshal's office, the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry, the governor's office of Homeland Security, and the National Weather Service have met for several weeks to assess the current state of wildfire dangers in the state and how to move forward with burn bans. An updated burn ban that went into effect this past Friday now allows each parish the ability to opt out of the statewide burn ban if they choose to. Colin Vidros is in the studio to break down our local parishes and their decisions when it comes to the new ban. Colin. That's right. Last week, the statewide burn ban was modified to now provide individual parishes the ability to opt out of the ban, among other things. Here's what you need to know about the current stance of, our, of the parishes in our viewing area. For Rapides, Grant, and Vernon parishes, the burn ban will stay in effect with no exemptions to the statewide burn ban. The Rapides Parish Police Jury will need to make a resolution to change that motion if the police jury deems necessary. The Grant Parish Police Jury is planning to meet on October 12th to discuss the possible changes, but as of now, no changes have been made. Things are a little different in Avoyles Parish. While all burning is prohibited, the Avoyles Police Jury is allowing open and open outdoor and open fires for cooking, but they must be approved by the fire chief in your jurisdiction before the fire is ignited. Joey Frank, director of the Avoyles Office of Emergency Preparedness, says the decision was due to future outdoor events that requires fire of some sort, but it is not much different than the current statewide ban. This is the way it was prior to the statewide burn ban. When there is a burn ban, the fire chief can overrule and give permission to issue uh, a, to do a fire, to make an open fire. So we just basically did it like that. But I just felt it wasn't um, well enough to continue with doing a, you know, parish wide burn, uh, lifting a parish wide burn ban. Frank said if there are changes in the future to the ban, Avols will follow the state in their ruling. Now, as a reminder, open flames in fire pits, campfires, and other outdoor settings are prohibited where the statewide burn ban remains in effect. Outdoor cooking should be conducted with safety measures using containment equipment like grills and smokers on a flame resistant surface with a water source or fire extinguisher nearby and activities near dried grass should be avoided to prevent spark related fires. Brooke, back to you.